started off as a republic. Okay. Mm. That's why they use the eagle. You ever see the Roman armies? On, you ever watch the movies? And the Romans are marching with the army and they got the holding their standards up. They holding that giant eagle up mm. while they marching. Mm. Like that flag or whatever. Yeah, that's that's that, eagle. Yeah. yeah that, that's uh, that symbolizes the power of Zeus or Jupiter. Zeus, Zeus same Jupiter. thing. Jupiter, Zeus, the planet Jupiter. But that's what they worship. So that's why they, that's why they got an eagle on a dollar bill. They worship Zeus. They worship Jupiter. Hey, y'all heard that they found this new uh, they found it. Oh man, they ain't find nothing. They making sure. I'm a hundred, a hundred light years away. Yeah, a, a new alien planet. That's what it said. They're on, just on telling you what shit is out there. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They didn't, they or saying they never even been to the moon. Right. They don't know what's out there. They can just see it. They just make shit up. Man. Right. And the people love to eat that shit up. Like it's this. like the pyramids on Mars. That's probably all made up. Mm -hmm. So the pyramids on Mars. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Everybody knows about that. Jason. Yeah. Let's call it um, paint, um, airbrush, Photo Photoshop. Photoshop. Yeah. Man, they've had Photoshop programs like that since, since the six. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Especially for the government, that was their yeah. thing. It's just coming out to the public. They yeah. always release it later on. Yeah, yeah, that like, Voyage to the Moon was just a movie. That's all it was. It's a movie that they entertained the people with. So you're trying to say they never went to the moon? Never they went to, they, they can't get go out of space? They, can't, they go, they, they they go, go to one of the layers up there. They go to that last layer that's going around the Earth, but they're not out there. Out there. I'll tell you so what, yeah, though. Because it's what you call a, a, a Van Allen radiation belt that's around the Earth that a fucking melt them if they go into it. You know the Russian, the cosmic, the Russian cosmonauts, you know what they said they seen up there? What? They said they was all the way up there like in outer space. <laughs> right. They said they seen giant winged celestial beings. They said they was giant with human faces and they had wings and they were giant. And that's scripture. That's all oh, in the no, scripture. Man, you gotta be a, you gotta be, you gotta have a spiritual body to be able to go out there. To survive out there. To be able to yeah. They go up there. They go up there. They go miles up there. They only go so far. They only go so far. Yeah. They only go like 250 miles out. That's still. That's pretty far. It's still. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? But it really isn't nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But they can't go no further than that. Just like they can't go to the bottom of the sea. They can't make technology. You know. To, they're not permitted. Right. They're, 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 That's right. It's off limits. The Lord didn't give that to the wicked. It's for us. It's for us. <laughs> okay. Because you ain't mad because they out of their mind because they can't travel through outer space. If they said they found another planet in another solar system, they, that they, they can't even get there. It was with the telescope. Yeah, and it's 100, it's 100 light there. years ago. Uh, 100 light years away. That's like 10 billion years. I mean, what's the point of giving news like that to the people? What's the point? Stupid. You know what I'm saying? There's only one, there's only one way you can travel like that. You got to have a body like one of them angels. They, 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 they got celestial bodies. Who said this again? Who said that? Who said that? The Russian cosmonaut singer. I mean, actual people who's actually up there. There's a movie that you can download on YouTube. It's called A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon. Try and remember that and catch that. A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And it'll show you that they've never been here. Oh. No, they can't go there. They can go, they can probably try and go there and end up, when they get there, they're going to be dead. Because you see, they, crushed. they got angels out there regulating, <coughs> re regulating stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot they, of they, they, they can, they can, the, the angels is letting them have satellites out there. They can just destroy all those satellites. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So the Lord's just letting them do what they do. Same thing with, um, like I said, when we get saved, our body's going to be changed. You know what I'm saying? Because we can't go with these bodies, these raggedy ass bodies we have now and go into those holy chariots. You know what I mean? Because that's all in the scriptures too. The but, Lord gonna give us power. I'm gonna start to read this more than 13 now, man. But but, yeah, the Lord gonna give us spiritual power. Right. Okay. Well, how else are we gonna take over this government? Moses had power. And Aaron had power. They was turning staffs into snakes. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Right. Samson had superpowers. Right. And he destroyed a whole temple with his bare, bare hands. You ever seen a gate when you go into those ancient cities, how those gates look? The They're arch. giant. You can drive yeah. these semi truck. Samson, after he got some pussy, he was fucking his uh, his, his uh, take that off. nah, he was fucking one of uh, the Hamite girls. Yeah, I know you think about it. Oh, or whores. He was in the whores house or yeah. something. Anyway, he was already he was all night long, and he woke up the next day charged up, and he went to the gates of the city and took them both off. Now come on, and carried them off into you know. Let me, let me show you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, Samson was a bad dude, man. Hey, Samson was, man. Me and my boy was just talking about Samson the other night about his locks and stuff and how people back in the day, I'm they sure had, the they had locks. Oh, no, 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 that's not talking. Locks, when, that's a Hebrew word for hair. Now, locks is old. No, no, no. It's oh. they cut off seven of his locks. No, well, that, that means not, completion. Not dreadlocks. Not dreadlocks. The, the number seven, seven means completion. completion perfect, right? Now, check this out, man. In the Bible, in, in the King James Bible, locks is old English just for hair. Like, you ever hear Goldie locks? Why did she have dreadlocks? She had locks. She had she had she had a uh, blonde hair. She had locks is old English for hair. Okay, so it doesn't mean dreadlocks because the Bible, you know, dreadlocks man, that's kind of gross. That means you haven't been washing your hair. If you got long hair like that, you got to keep it clean. Because only a Nazarite is supposed to. You're not even supposed to have long hair. That's against the Bible. The only people that have long hair in the Bible. The uh, Nazarites, who took the vow of a Nazarene. When you take a vow of a Nazarite, you're not allowed to shake and cut your hair. That's that? just a bunch of them. Ancient city gates. No, oh, big, yeah. Big. You can see they're bigger. Man, you should Google the one in Constantinople. It's huge. Yeah, can you, you want to spell it out? Uh, you better spell it. Out. Got back hurt, man. How you think we feel, brother? We on the scene, man. Been standing on the I, right got right I, got I got 19 bulging discs in my back from a car accident. You know, it's killing me standing on the scene, man. And that's what this semen is for. It's meant to fuck your body, sir. This devil's a devil, man. It's a perfect devil. Black top, everywhere you look, he's emulating where his society come from. Um, the Caucasus Mountains. Rocks and caves. See these tall buildings and shit, you know, downtown? He's emulating his society where he's from, you know? Mil hill, mountains and caves and shit with you. Know? Oh, I can't, you can't see it. Right it, it tap, it tap, it tap. It. And it, it, it'll, it'll pop. There you go. Look how big that shit is. See how big that is? You see how big that is? Oh, now Samson cool. walked up to him, took them both the hinges, you know, cause there's metal that you just, the like, 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 mounts I'll show you how big it is. That's one person. You see the person? Oh, man, that's the person. There's a person right there. That's the biggest. It's like the Hulk. He, no, he was a giant, too. He, he was, was like the Hulk. He wasn't no regular size person. Giant. Well, we, were all, a, we were all tall as hell back then. Not a giant, giant, but he was big we were, as fuck. We were all big back then. Cause the giant, like Goliath, he was probably like damn 30 feet tall or something ridiculous. I mean, he was huge. I'm, I'm talking about, like, when they say he's a giant, he was a giant, right. you know what I'm saying? He wasn't just like 10 feet tall. No, he was a giant. Like uh, some shit out of a uh, cartoon or something. Like Jack 15, and the Beanstalk like type shit. Big buff 15 foot giant. Just bigger than that, bigger than that. Exactly. Way bigger yeah, than that. Way bigger than that. Yeah, way bigger than that. Yeah. I mean, Goliath was like 30. And they used to eat people. The giants were cannibals. They eat people. You know what I'm saying? The, remember the first day, Israelites were scared of going to the land because there's giants up in there. Because of the giants. Right? They were scared. Yeah. The Most High was like, man, why are you scared of some punk ass giants? Right, right. Simpsons and Samuel, right? Uh, Samson, uh, Samson, right? uh, uh a judge. Oh, I can say. Judge. Judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, uh. Yeah, Dave, David was the most badass dude, actually. David was more bad than Samson. Okay, here. Samson might have been stronger, but David was a killing machine. David was, David was in the mind. No, that's Daniel. 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 That King David. You know, like David and Goliath. When, when he was a young man, he killed John, uh, killed a giant. When he got older, he became king. Who, David? Yeah. He's the one that killed David the giant. David and Goliath? Yeah. Uh, uh, and he became the greatest king that Israel you know, ever had. Okay, here we go. Yeah, David, the scriptures say David was the man after the Most High's own heart. So I'm saying, the Most High loved David. David, he pretty much wrote almost the whole book of Psalms. You know what I'm saying? He was real good at playing the, uh, the harp, you know, the guitar. You know what I'm saying? It's a huge song. Yeah. Samson the Storage I'm in the story now. So I have to uh, yeah, It's kind of long end. Oh, oh, here, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's on. Uh, uh, here. here we go. Check this out. Uh, this is uh, Judges the 16. I'm starting to talk. Then went Samson to Gaza and saw there in Harlot and went in unto her. And it was told. 
the Gazites, saying, Samson is come hither. And they compassed him in and lay wait for him all night in the gate of the city. They compass, you know what I mean? Like a compass. Yeah, they draw a circle. They's all around him, surrounding him. And were quiet all the night, saying, In the morning, when it is day, we shall kill him. And Samson lay till midnight and arose at midnight and took the doors of the gate of the city and the two posts and went away with them, bar and all. I don't know, yeah, it's a... And put them upon his shoulders and carried them up to the top of a hill that is before Hebron. Now you saw the picture and it said the post, the post is about to hold those big ass doors. He ripped all that shit up. So they, ripped it up, you it know, shoulder. and walked away with them. Now, come on, these motherfuckers now came to pick a gate up. This gate that you got around your house and walk around with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got to they gotta have steroids to get you. <laughs> right, to get right. you know. Spent all day in the gym yeah. for years and years. Oh, yeah. Weights. The scriptures didn't say Samson was in the gym all day. Shooting steroids. Yeah. <laughs> he, was just, he was just, when he came out of his mother's womb, he came out strong. You want to know, uh, okay, I can give him the one something about the mighty man. You know, the scriptures talking about da even David. Go back to David. The scripture said when David was a little boy, he killed a lion. And a lion was trying to kill the sheep. He was, he was watching the oh, sheep. Oh, yeah, I heard And that then the that. lion came, and David took, he grabbed the lion by his beard and smote him. So that he killed a lion as a little boy. Mm. Hey, man, I'm gonna take off and go, y'all. That's cool, bro. We'll be out of here again tomorrow. I mean, I said Bring tomorrow. Bring it in, bro. Yep. It's that love out here, man. Just doing the work. Bang. So, all right, y'all. Okay, yep. man. So, yeah, that's a crazy scripture. Yeah, that's bugged out, man. Never bugged that one ever before. Man, I was, I was watching this documentary back at one of the homes, man. It's on the business. It's a better picture than the one I found. Man. They showed how big that city gate was. It was ridiculous. <laughs> man, it looked like you could. I mean, it was like, I can't even explain it. Uh, this video is Uh. You on Twitter? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. I'll be posting shit on you. Check, did you find my Twitter feed? Yet? Nah, King, I forgot the name of it. Kings King, of the Earth. Kings of the Earth. Yeah. Just capital I mean, Kings of the Earth. Yeah. Well, well, everything's capital. K's capital. The O's capital. And the uh -huh. E's capital. Got you. Kings of the Earth. Now I'll, I'll, I'll post stuff on there. Yeah. All kind of videos on there to watch. They ain't got deleted in a long time. Where else? Where? YouTube ain't deleting oh, us. Yeah. We ain't been to our new channel. Channel ain't been deleted. It's been on there for like three months already. <laughs> Probably longer than that. It's the record. They never, no channel has ever lasted that long. You think we're doing something wrong, bro? <laughs> Maybe YouTube getting weary. They still delete the videos, though. I had a video deleted not too long ago. I mean, but hell, we don't have, I mean, we have many channels we had deleted. Man, we probably had a good, I don't know. I want to say 100, but that's probably exaggerating. But I don't know. It might not be exaggerating. We had a lot of channels deleted, man. So many is ridiculous. I can't even remember the names of all of them. I should have wrote them all down just to have proof. <laughs> you know what I mean? So when you click on that link, it says, this channel has been deleted for hate speech. <laughs> fuck, man. I used to keep track of them. After a while, I was like, fuck this, man. One time they was deleting our channel. We make a channel on one day they deleted the same day. Yeah, I remember that. So it was good they let okay. up on us a little bit. At least you didn't get no videos uploaded on that channel on one day. Oh yeah, that's, actually I did. That's why they deleted it. Oh no, you're right. They did delete one channel before I even got a video up. Kind of fuck. That's that kind of that's. What is that, man? Tell me they're not watching. This whole thing. Holy fuck, I just walking around. Legs showing. Fuck, yeah, my feet are frozen. And she's just out here trying to get raped. <laughs> oh, you good? Let's, I'm gonna get it. Uh, let's not get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I wanted to hit that Joel. I was just thinking about it all week. Joel? Yeah, the Joel. Let's get that out. We tried to get it out at one week. We just started the second chapter. I just wanted to go through this, man. Mm -hmm.
make the video a little longer too. You know, brother's getting his videos just like cracked. You need to start the video. Uh, just two and one. You two read, and the whole, read the whole chapter. Okay. Joel two and one. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. So that's what we're doing. We're blowing the trumpet. That means we're teaching this Bible. Keep going. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. So y'all gonna tremble. All the inhabitants of America, y'all gonna tremble. Y'all for real gonna tremble when this civil war breaks out. But we got all these states right now saying they about to succeed from the union. And they serious too. They real serious. And there's gonna be a civil war. There's gonna be blood in the streets. That's coming. It's coming real. There's gonna be race rights. It's coming. So go ahead, you got a couple weeks or so, maybe a month or two, just go ahead and live it up, because soon it's going to be all out chaos and warfare in America. There's going to be famine, ain't going to be no food, there's going to be disease, because when, when all this chaos breaks out, that's going to cause food shortages, that's going to cause power failures, and that's going to cause disease outbreaks. When ain't no power, no food, people start getting sick, diseases is going to break out. Shit everywhere. Oh yeah, you know they said one of the main things to kill people in the Revolutionary War was the diseases. Oof. More people died from diseases than the actual combat. So there's gonna be all kinds of diseases and plagues coming to this motherfucker, man. I can't wait. Bro. Oh, go ahead. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. So y'all gonna tremble, man. Y'all gonna tremble before the face of the Lord. Keep going. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. And the day of the Lord is near. So go ahead and live your last little days up. Your little days of partying and have a good time's almost over. Keep going. A day of darkness and of gloominess. Yeah, so your preacher never told you that. The day of the Lord is darkness and gloominess. Keep going. A day of clouds and thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and a strong, there had not been ever the like, neither shall be any more like after. Yeah, so that's, that's talking about it. When, when this uh, nuclear war breaks out, it's gonna be real dark and gloomy. It's gonna be real cloudy. The mushroom, the mushroom clouds is gonna blot out the sun. He ain't gonna see the stars. He ain't gonna see the moon. Even actually, you gonna if you're not right with the Most High, you your, your eye, you can't you're not gonna be able to see because your eyes gonna get melted. <laughs> they gonna your eye and your and your tongue is gonna melt away in your face. Yeah. Keep going. Even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. So that, that, it's that fire, that nuclear fire is coming to America. Because watch, that World War III is breaking out right now. So get ready, keep going. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a des desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. So yeah, America's about to be turned into a desert wilderness. Ain't gonna be no more America. It's gonna be, the Lord is gonna destroy this place. Keep going. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. Oh yeah, so the hell with your civil war. We, we, we talking about, oh, you gonna join the side of liberty, brother? The, <laughs> the hell with your liberty, the hell with your constitution, Fuck the hell you. with your Barack Obama, the hell with your Democrat and Republican, and the libertarians and the constitutionalists. Fuck all you bitches. We ain't, we with the Lord. We on the side of the Lord. That's right. So we ain't gonna be fighting for neither of you motherfuckers. Your how the Hashem, your how shine. Oh, uh, go ahead. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. And as horsemen, so so shall they run. Oh, that's talking about how that fire, when that missile is hitting that fire, when that fire is spreading across the land, mm. it's gonna look like horses mm. running. Even that smoke, you know how it is. Yeah, because you actually you see spirits in that smoke too. Sure do. That, as that fire goes and devours people, them spirits is going up. You know what I'm saying? Just like a 9/11, mm. when not the, the twin, when the twin towers got destroyed on 9/11, you can see spirits in the smoke. Mm. Like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains, shall they leap? Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. That's gotta be a beautiful sight to just watch a, a, a nuclear missile hit and just watch it go out and destroy. Mm. Just move out, just mm. start from the center and destroy. Mm. That's gotta be a beautiful sight. They man. all on YouTube, they, they all on tests. They even used to run on the nuclear explosions they used to let off. That's yeah, I, I've shit. watched that SAR bomb like a billion that's times. Yeah, that's some bad shit. Man. That's amazing. You get the one with sound? No. I like the one with sound better. That's a bad boy. That's a, that's you turn it on surround sound, turn that shit up, man. That's so, 
That shit is amazing, man. Right, right. <coughs> Before their face, the people shall be much pained. So, yeah, these people are gonna be much pained. I mean, we gotta break that part down. Go ahead. All faces shall gather blackness. Yeah, that means you're gonna be looking real, you're gonna be looking real astonished. You're gonna be pitiful. You're real pitiful, yeah. You're gonna be real pitiful, pitiful. on that day. They're gonna look pitiful before the missiles drop. Just, yeah, right. When, when that civil war breaks out, watch, I can't wait to look on these hoes' faces. When, when you help got me, help me. When you got UN troops going door to door, taking away guns. <laughs> Man, them bitches, look, I can't wait to see the look on you hoes' face, man. When you get a, a, a motherfucking shotgun butt to your damn head. Or they just might shoot you. They just might shoot you. I can't wait to see it, man, because you know a lot of goddamn hits. They got supplies of guns and ammo, man. Yeah. They gonna lose all that shit. <laughs> Helicopters gonna be coming on. They saying a lot of generals are saying they don't, it's a suicide mission, they don't want to do it. Woo! Because it's gonna be chaos. It's gonna be all hell. I've heard a lot of soldiers on the internet saying they've been given briefings that they might have to go and disarm the citizens. Mm. So, but the, the soldiers don't want to do it. They're going to have to send NATO. In. Yep, they're going to have to send NATO to the United Nations in, mm -hmm. you know, or they, because they're going to get to the guns or they want to try it. And that's going to cause a lot of, that's going to be a lot of bloodshed on that day. They're going to try. They're going to try. And, and it's going to take a long time for them to do that. So that's going to be a long period of bloodshed. Yeah. It's a lot of death. A lot of Yep. It's an army on itself that ain't really gathered as an army. Yeah, because America's the only only country in the world, one of the major populated, because Switzerland, that a lot of the elite live up in Switzerland and control the rest of the, rest of the world while they have hiding out in the mountains up in Switzerland, armed to the teeth, you know what I mean? But America is like one of the only countries in the world where everybody got guns. So that's going to be a lot of bloodshed, man. That's right. Go ahead. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march everyone in his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. That's talking about those missiles. Yep. Those missiles are not going to break their ranks. They're going to break their ranks. I mean, you ain't going to have a missile defense system that's going to intercept all those missiles. It's the impossible. Lord all the, that's the spirit of the Lord. They yeah. all the missiles. Yeah, the spirit of the Lord. Right. Ain't a missile defense system that they, they can. Ain't no Star Wars stopping those missiles. Because it's, it's, it's going to be the whole, it's going to look, you ever watch the movies and you see uh, see the archers come out and the archers and shoot all the uh, all the, all the the arrows uh -huh. and you see the, the the whole sky filled with arrows, soon that's how it's going, the whole sky is going to be filled with missiles. And that's the spirit, how the spirit, the scripture is going into the missile defense. Oh, uh, dude, Listen, go ahead. Neither shall one thrust another. That's that missile defense yep. system. Yep. They shall walk everyone in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The like, sun. Like, like, is that, I mean, you're gonna have nuclear war before that. We're gonna have, there's gonna be martial law. You could have foreign troops. And for all we know, you gotta have the goddamn Russian Spetsnaz pop out and start killing people. I mean, we're in a period of all-out death and warfare, man. Yeah, we, well, what's the word I'm looking for? We in a period of destruction. And that, that's the, 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 the whole, the whole, the whole global system is breaking down. Everything is breaking down. Jesus. Damn. Ass is fat as a God. I was already running, getting ready for us. Yeah, you yeah. know that's getting ready for us. Her ass is so big, she can't. That's, it's too much. Boys. She can't even handle. Not that. Man, man, man. The sun and the moon shall be dark, read and the, the stars shall withdraw their shining. You read the Bible? Are you a heathen? And the Lord shall utter His voice before His army, for His camp is very great. So the Lord's camp is very great. The angels is in the camp of the Lord. When the look, cause the Lord gonna come back out. To, all, when all this destruction's coming down, while this place is getting destroyed, the Lord is He's gonna deliver us elect. We ain't gonna get destroyed. That's right. Them angels are gonna come down with the Lord, and they gonna save us. That's what's called being saved, being delivered. That's right. For He is strong to execute His word. It's like that old song. Uh, you know that song. Uh, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. The the real version of that song. 
is Jesus is coming with his ch uh, chariots when he comes. So the Lord's about to come with his chariots. Like the song, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Mm -hmm. I, I know a bunch of old songs like that where they talk about the Lord That's coming deep. with his chariots. That's deep. You know what I'm saying? That's deep. Because people used to know about them chariots. Used to. You know what I'm saying? Used to. They used to watch them dance in the sky at Keyword. night. Used Before to. all this light pollution, you used to be out in the country and you could just watch the chariots dancing in the sky. Right. Tell them about a chariot now. Cuss your ass up. Yeah, they call you crazy. Mm -hmm. For he is or they, strong. They, or they, they'll try to say the aliens are reptilians or alien. You know what I mean? Right. They'll try to say the angels are aliens. Mm -hmm. That's fucking blasphemy. They'll try to say the Most High is an alien. Yeah. For they so proud that they can't acknowledge the fact that the Most High is magnificent Oof. and great, and that He created everything. And so they're so proud that they can't admit that He's the Creator. They gotta. Uh, give him a different name and say he's an alien. Mm. He's just an advanced alien species. That's a demon for you. That's a That's devil. A, for you. Oh yeah, the damn devil would say something like that, man. Because right. they're so proud, they just can't admit that he's the most high. Go ahead. For he is strong to execute his word, for the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? So they know we're going to abide the day of the Lord. Because if you ride with the most high, he's going to deliver you. But like we said before, two thirds of Israel is getting destroyed. They're not going to make it. The scripture said there be there shall be few, few shall be saved. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and the Lord ain't hearing no, nothing on that. You ain't going to debate with the missiles. Why the missiles coming out of the sky? You're going to say, uh, nah, missile, don't hit me. It's still going to destroy you. American government got my back. <laughs> not even, nobody even talks about the missiles. Everybody wants to talk about every other topic under the sun except for missiles, man. I don't ever do a kickflip. I be watching YouTube a lot, a lot of videos. The only person I ever hear talking about missiles is uh, Lyndon LaRouche. He's the only one that talks about it. Nobody even mentions it. But that, that's why. That's why it's gonna make it even more beautiful. Cause they ain't expecting that, man. They're gonna shit themselves right before they get disintegrated. They're gonna shit themselves. <laughs> they're gonna piss themselves and shit themselves. Then they're just gonna be evaporated by that nuclear, that thermal it's nuclear coming. fire. It's coming. It's a coming. Yeah, man, that's why I actually, when we come out here to teach, I enjoy talking about the missiles the most. You know? that, that, I keep having dreams about it. I had a clear. I had clear, crystal clear visions and dreams about missiles. I've seen them many times. They're coming. And a lot of people had those dreams too. A lot of these people walking by the street, I, I, I guarantee you over half these people out here seen visions of missiles in their dreams. But they don't want to talk about it to people. Because the Lord said, hey, there's more, it, how you that in that book, uh, Joel? Uh, if you keep reading, uh, what you got? I got a precept, brother. Go Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Yeah. To what end is it for you? A lot of people, they claim, I can't wait till Jesus gets back. A lot of these homosexual Christians, the, the, like you said, what end is it to you? The, the Lord ain't even dealing with these fake-ass Christians. They, they pervert the scriptures. They turn the truth into a lie, try to make it look like Jesus is a faggot. They say, they say Jesus was white. Go ahead. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Yeah, so the day of the Lord is not going to be light. You going to tell me the Lord going to come back to save all these wicked fools out here? Mm. Nah, man. He's going to destroy all these wicked people, man. That's right. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went out into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very dark. Yeah, so there's nothing you can do, like we said. If you don't get killed by this upcoming, because there's going to be a civil war real soon. So if you don't die in this civil war, you're going to die in a missile fire, okay? So you can't escape the destruction. The only, actually, you can. The only way you can escape the destruction is through the Lord. If That's you don't... The truth. Huh? That's the truth. That is Witness. the truth. Thank you. I read the Bible every day. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. I do. So, Lamentations in Jeremiah right now. You should grow a beard. If you read the Bible, you should know you have to have a beard. You can't shave your beard off. Looking like a woman. <laughs> oh, maybe mess up my spirit. 
I'm gonna go back to Joel. I'll go ahead. Therefore also now, said the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart, and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your power, for he is gracious and merciful. So that's what we do. We are mourning. We mourn. So we, if you are mourning, if you hate this world and you, you know what I'm saying, you feel like shit every day, you hate this place, so you're supposed to turn to the Most High. Keep going. Slow to anger and great in kindness and repent of him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a heat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your power. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sanctify fast. Holy Psalm of yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we're doing right now, the way, the way that we can do it. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, and those that suck the breath. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests the ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thy heritage to reproach. That's, that's the that's, heathen. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's what we pray to the Lord that he, he delivers the elect of Israel, man. We pray for that. Right. Keep going. That the heathen should rule over them. Yeah, we, don't, we, don't want, we don't like the heathens ruling over us. We don't like living in a, a, a land where all the days, all the days of the week are named after pagan. Thursdays named after Thor. What kind of shit is that, man? I'll keep going. Wherefore should they say among the people, where is their power? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people. So, so the Lord, yeah, you're going to answer us. Go ahead. Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith, and I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen. Yeah, so, yeah, sooner or later, the Lord is going to deliver us. He's going to set us up. And we're not going to be slaves no more. We're not going to be poor. We're living in the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Ain't got shit. You got to send your, ship your kids off to a, a demonic child molesting school. They force all, all, there's teachers all the time getting caught for child molestation. Is it, goddamn Elmo just got caught for child molestation. Elmo. You see that faggot? And the fag came out and said he really didn't break it. Oh, he's a teenager? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Elmo's a faggot. I, he, he's molesting children, too. That's right. All, all them people I said, that's just a child molestation operation. I'm talking about that's Elmo's a, a faggot. Yeah, Elmo's a... It's in the news. Elmo got caught molesting little boys. Elmo. Oh, hey, molesting teenagers. I don't give a damn. He's a faggot. Elmo's a faggot. That's a fact. It's in the news. So you got your children watching Sesame Street, and Elmo's a faggot. The, the guy that plays Elmo's a homosexual. He has sex with little boys. But you got your children watching some goddamn demonic Sesame Street. And then you're shipping your child off every day to a communist school system, teaching your children to, uh, to be an antichrist and to be a heathen. A sodomite. Yeah, to be a sodomite. They teaching little kids in school it's okay to be a faggot. Saying we gotta accept everybody. No, we ain't gotta accept everybody. The Bible says your faggot gotta get put to death. So Elmo got to get put to death. Elmo needs to die. Death to Elmo. Death to Elmo. <laughs> yeah, it's a, what kind of shit is that? It, and we just talking about Sesame Street. The Sesame Street, that just teaches your child how to be a, a, a socialist, how to be a good slave. You know what I mean? That's all propaganda. Fuck it, that's amazing. Elmo's a fake. He actually having sex with little boys. And then Barack Obama, he was making a big deal because I remember Romney said he wanted to uh, cut the funding to Sesame Street. And Barack Obama was like, how could you cut Sesame Street? That's helped so many children. Oh, so molesting children is helping them, huh? It, it, molesting a child, that's helping a child? That's what Elmo does, he molests children. Oh, my fault, man, I just had a I just start thinking about that. That's insane, man. You know them bitches are cold. But people don't give a fuck. They still watch some Sesame Street. That's. I mean, I'm not surprised one bit, man. It was back. It's a great prestige.
That's crazy. Elmo's a fucking fat, a child molester. Oh, you still sick? I got caught. Huh? Hey, jack me up. I'll probably get sick when I go home tonight. Oh, you can get the rest of that Joel? <laughs> that Joel's bad, man. That really got it's like everything, everything you need to know. to a land barren and desolate with his face toward the east sea and his hinder part toward the uttermost sea and his stink shall come up and his <laughs> ill savior shall come up because he hath done great things. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid. You, so, you, oh yeah, so wait, to our brothers, yeah, don't be afraid. You know, you can't be afraid to teach the Bible, but you, when, when, that, when the shit hits the fan, the civil war starts, or the race riot starts, they're coming. Civil war and race riots is coming, all right? It's inevitable. Don't be afraid. Keep going. Ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, for the tree beareth her fruit, the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Come out and high. Yeah, man. Lord Always to, coming by, fucking shit up. Lord gonna destroy you, goddamn coda bus. Hell yeah. Look at that fat ass bitch. He's always a big fat, 400 pound bitch on a coda bus. Like she gotta ride the coda because she can't even fit in a real car. You gotta sit in two seats. That's why like motherfuckers got so fat that the airline industry told fat people they gotta order two tickets. <laughs> hey, you can't make that up, man. That's true. They so fat they gotta order two tickets. I think I read that before, yeah. like about a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you can't make it up. <laughs> how, do you get, how do you get that fat? Right. Uh, right. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your power. For he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain. The former rain and the latter rain in the first month. Well, yeah, that's talking about so you're gonna have so we can have a good harvest. And the floors shall be full of wheat and the vats. Hey, that's shall talking about that truth too. That's talking about man, when you get back in the kingdom, we set us up. We're gonna eat good. We're gonna live good. We're gonna be fed spiritually and physically. You we're, going? We're gonna glow. We're gonna shine. Right, well, we're gonna shine. Yep. And the vats shall overflow with wine and oil, and I re restore you to the years that the locusts have eaten. The oh yeah. So you man, you can break that down all kind of ways. Because we just be talking about them actual locusts. Because really Esau is like a locust too, man. Mm -hmm. He come through like a like a swarm of locusts. A and, and like a cancer and devour everything in his path. That's right. There you go. I'll go ahead. The thief coming but to steal and to kill. Yep. The canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer, palmer worm. Palmer worm. My great army which yeah, I they, sent among you. Yeah, those will destroy all your crops. That's what it's talking about. Yep. So, and you shall eat in the plant and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your power that have dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. So we, yeah, we ain't gonna be ashamed. But we ain't ashamed right now. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I, that I am the Lord your power and none else and my people oh. shall never be ashamed. Oh yeah, so I like got one scripture with that Psalms, I think 114, been a minute since I got it. Says thy people shall rejoice in the day thy in the day thy power. So when the, when the Lord set us up and He gives us that power, and when He takes this place down, everybody gonna know He's the Lord, right. and they they gonna praise Him. That's right. He, it's, you know what I'm saying? But them got them heathens, cause some of them heathens will still be cursed in the mountain. They gonna get put down. Yeah, yeah. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. So you can, so that we prophesying right now. We tell it because the prophesy means to say before, like to pr predict the future. But we telling you there's gonna be race riots. There's gonna be a civil war. Cannibalism. There's gonna be cannibalism out here. They're gonna they about to plant people with a microchip. They're gonna plant you with a microchip. 
Yeah. If you say that, nobody listens. Uh, RFID chip. They're gonna put a microchip in you. Radio frequency identification device. <laughs> walk on, keep on walking and <laughs> keep on walking, motherfuckers. Yep. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. So I know a lot of y'all, when y'all having dreams at night, y'all having dreams in the missiles. So I know a lot of y'all, y'all seen that missile fire in your dreams. A lot of y'all had those dreams, and you seen the future. See, even two thirds will get the visions. But they'll see that, you know what I mean? They won't understand it. But they don't want to talk about it. They keep it to themselves. But see, I know for a fact the Lord revealed it through the script. His scripture tell you that he pouring that spirit out. Because we in a spiritual time right now and a lot of people are having heavy visions and heavy dreams. And that's caused from us being out here. How yeah. we say the word don't come out a void. Yep. You know, they walk a past thinking, oh, fuck them, fuck them. You know, so a lot, it's in their mind. So though. a lot of these hoes that scoffed at us, mm -hmm. they went home, then they had a nightmare. You know what I'm saying? They seen, the, they seen the fire, they heard the screams, and they was terrified. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful. Yep. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaid in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. There's going to be wonders in the heaven. When you see that chariot to the Lord come out the sky, that's a wondrous thing. It was a solar eclipse the other day. What? It was a full solar eclipse. I don't know. It was a 13th. It was a 13th. It was a, I don't even know today's date. You can't never even see the sky. Right. The sky, the sky looks, I haven't seen a, you can barely see stars ever. And especially in this city. Yeah. Keep and it. I will show wonders well, in the heavens. What kind of shit is that? They keep lights on all damn night. You can't go to sleep. You gotta have the damn curtains on your window because it's bright as hell. It'd be two o'clock in the morning, bright as hell outside. Right, right. Can't even get sleep. The skateboard oh. almost got broke. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be the sun shall be turned into darkness. Yeah, soon y'all gonna see pillars of smoke from those thermonuclear missiles that's about to start dropping. And the moon into blood. Yeah, what is that? What is a pillar of smoke? Do you know what a pillar is? A pillar, something that's... <laughs> I, when you see them, the, the, the mushroom clouds, the center of it looks like a pillar. You know what I'm saying? Before it goes up to the cloud, the, the big part, the, the, the bottom, the base, goes up like a pillar. Oh, go ahead. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire, blood and pillars and, of smoke. Blood of fire. Is that, yeah, there's it, gonna be some... That's, that's hellfire. We hear people talking about hell. That's hell. You know what I'm saying? That's hellfire. You go the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord so, come. Yeah, so that great and terrible day of the Lord, that's right around the corner. So, yeah, because we are in the last days. And we we right at the end. We getting real close. Keep going. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. So if you're thinking in your little pea brain mind, oh, them motherfuckers is crazy. Goddamn Bible preachers. <laughs> well, trust me, it's going to come to pass. That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Yeah, so that's just like what Romans, the 10th chapter, says. That's how you get saved by calling on the name of the Lord. And the Lord's name is not Jesus, Jesus. It's, it's not Yahweh or Yahshua, Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. The Lord's name is Yahweh. That's the Most High's name. The, the, his son's name is Yahweh Shah, the one you call Jesus. Keep going. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said. So, yeah, it's talking about Israel. The Lord's dealing with, he's saving the Israel. And in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. It's that remnant, that's, that's it. it. That's it. Oh, you want to wrap it up? Yeah, bro. All right, we're going to go on it. Yeah, you know, everybody's all sick. My feet are frozen too. So, yeah, we're going to bid y'all peace and farewell.